So in group this morning, I offered some advice, uh, well, support, I guess, to Lisa. And I really understood what she was saying, and it just made me feel more connected. So I'm just feeling really positive, I guess, in a really good mood. Why do you think that is? Uh, oh, well, it was wonderful to see my mother yesterday. Did you ask her to come and visit? No. No, actually, it was unexpected. Uh, yes, I was not exactly kind to her the last time she came here. I was angry and I took it out on her, but she was actually just worried about me. She, she wanted me to get help. Uh, and, and now that I am, we're both feeling really hopeful, I think. Norman, I want to ask you a question that I think you might find confusing at first. Okay. Is it possible your mother wasn't here yesterday? What? Just consider, Norman. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> you're, you're asking me to consider that I made up my mother being here? Not that you made it up, but that it didn't happen like how it felt. The, no, the truth is that I think she came because I called her. I know you called her, Norman, and I'm not angry about it. You checked up on me? You know that you're monitored. It's part of the process of being here. We checked the number of the person being called. It was your mother's cell number. Yeah, so, okay. Well, then, if I am monitored, then I think you should know that my mother was here. I mean, we just went out for a walk in the grounds. It's not like we were hiding. What? Well, that's how I know she wasn't here. I get an email every day with a list of all the visitors my patients see. She wasn't on it. Well, then she just didn't check in. All right, my mother can be very obstinate when it comes to rules. Norman, listen to me. People will search for comfort in an unknown environment. We can miss people so much that it feels like they're with us even when they're not. But I actually felt her. She held me. Okay, It was her laugh, her voice. I know it felt incredibly real. It was real. Tell me what you talked about. No. No, actually, I'm I'm not going to do that because you think I'm crazy. No, I don't think you're crazy. Okay, listen, it's your job to make me feel better, not worse. OK, she told me that you would do this. She she told me that. Wait, Norman, Norman. Norman, please Let just me out. stay with me. Let me out. Let me out. Hey. Breathe, Norman. Breathe, Norman. Breathe. Breathe in. Two. Three. Out. Three. Four. You yeah, have a very soothing voice. Did they teach you that at medical school, or were you just born that way? How do you feel now? How do you want me to feel? Do you think you can sit back down and finish our session? I could. Or would you prefer me to lie down? You can if you like. It's a very vulnerable position. I can see the appeal. But I think I'd rather look you in the face.
So where were we? Do you mind if I ask a question? That's why we're here, isn't it? What do you think about Norman? I think he is a very weak, confused boy. Easy for people to take advantage of. Is that what you feel I'm doing? I think you think you're helping, but that's your ego in action. If you want to know what's really wrong with Norman, you should talk to the person who knows him best. And that's you? Of course it is. I'm his mother. 